Do you know what this is, Uber? Yeah. This is our first holiday together. It is. It really is. Do you know what they say about couples who go on holiday, even makes them or breaks them? <laughs> so this could be the make and break of us two. <laughs> we are on the way to Limerick. Let's make a catfish limerick. Right. There was a show called Catfish UK. Today's a beautiful day. We're, We're getting on a plane. plane. This is insane. insane. This catfish, catfish ain't getting get away. away. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. This is so exciting. Hello. Is this the Nath mobile? Yeah. The game is a foot. I'm looking forward to properly meeting Rob, getting a sense of what's going on and like, you know, he obviously felt so into this girl that he was willing to uproot his whole life, life yeah. move up to Dublin. Without even meeting her. Yeah, exactly. It's like, that's pretty, that's pretty hardcore. Oh my God, we're in Ireland on our first, our first rainbow. Oh, our go. first rainbow in Ireland. <laughs> Look at that thing. We're here. Let's go. Uber, I'm nervous. Hey, guys. Hey. Welcome to Ireland. Come in. Good to see you, guys. Nice to see you, mate. Nice to see you. Thanks for having us. I want to go right back to the start when you first started <clears throat> talking to Sarah. Like, what, what was it that brought you together? What were you talking about? You know, the more I was speaking to Sarah, it just felt like I was speaking to someone that was literally made for me. Right. And I'd never had that, you know. You have an ideal kind of partner. Yeah. That's like your, your dream partner, you know. And to me, she's that, like. And the connection just kept getting, you know, more and more intense, you know. We spoke about traveling the world together. You know, I used to call her my little spider monkey. So, you know, she could hop on my back and we'd go backpacking and take on the world together. What is it that she does? Um, she's in the beauty and fashion industry. Uh, she's quite an entrepreneur. You know, she's always studying, doing further courses. Quite an ambitious girl. I find that really attractive. Someone with a bit of get up and go about them, you know. Do you have any photos of her? Yes. So this is Sarah. Very, very oh, wow, pretty. She's very pretty. Very pretty. Yeah, she's very cute. So when did it when did it start to change? Well, there's been a couple of times where Sarah's went completely like radio silence. After it happened a couple of times, my trust kind of started breaking down a little. Right. Felt like, you know, I'm wasting my time here. You know, two and a half years is a long time to be speaking yeah. to someone. And mm. there's no calls and the voice notes, voice notes, things there's like that. There's been a couple of calls, actually. Oh, yeah, really? there has been. Um, like so, FaceTime calls or just? No, phone calls, phone yeah. Calls, okay. When you did talk on the phone, though, were the long conversations? Not really, no. I mean, maybe five to 10 minutes, you know. I did want to video chat, but she always, you know, didn't open a message and then we'll wait till the next day to say, Oh, sorry, I didn't see her message. I was going to sleep. And then, you know, one day I messaged her and the message didn't deliver at all. At all? Oh. At all, no. And I tried to phone her a couple of days later and her phone is off. So wow. I'm literally at a crossroads now because mm -hmm. it's been a few months since I've heard from Sarah. Um, and that's the longest we've ever went without any communication. Um, and I still do feel really strongly for Sarah, so. I really like, you know, want to know what's going on with Sarah. I'm quite concerned, you know, I've known in her family to speak to, to make sure everything's okay. And, you know, if she is okay and she is who she says she is, like hopefully we can, you know, explore what we've always talked about, you know. So in terms of us moving forward then, we want to go and figure out what's going on so that you can move on with your life. Yeah. And I guess then it's just as much information about Sarah as possible. Absolutely. Pictures, number, name, anything, just send it all over on an email. Yeah. Does she have social media? She says she's not on social media, like, or she was taking a break, you know? So we never connected and just continued messaging through, you know, messaging apps. Well, I think we've got everything that we need, Rob. Yes. I think Thanks so much, mate. out. You got it, Thank you very, very much. Cheers, Rob. Bye. Bye. Catch you later. We'll be in touch. There's a lot to unpack there, then. Yeah. Right. So I actually think Bob is a lovely, lovely, lovely lad, and it actually hurts my heart a little bit that he's gone through all this. Which right.